Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, so today I will be talking about a few things that have been on my mind lately. I just haven't really been able to express to anyone because nobody cares. Um, so I just, I wanted to talk a little bit about body dysmorphia one and my experiences being ugly <laughs> to what? That's my cat. So, first off, I am someone who's not typically considered attractive um, by, by the vast majority of people as I've been told and shown my entire life. Um, pretty much everyone I've known has sort of called me either average, below average, um, ugly. I've heard a lot of ugly over the years, and being ugly and below average are very similar because treated about the same, treated either like you're invisible um, repulsive, not worth anyone's time, you know, nobody wants to talk to you really, it's more, they talk to you when they need something and you can always tell because, you know, they'll be so nice to you, they'll come up to you and then you'll just be like, oh, what do they want from me? What do these people want from me? You know, so, um, so people don't really go out of their way to interact with you if they think you're not attractive. Um, and then there's the whole being a woman and kind of needing to to always be beautiful. And pe when people don't think that you're beautiful, you're mistreated because of that. And when people don't think that you're worth their time they're pretty rude. They don't, you know, talk to you like they talk to everyone else. They keep their conversation conversations with you really short. They'll come up to you or you'll go more likely you'll go up to them and say something. They'll try to start a conversation and you know, you're trying to make a joke and they just look at you like but it's like if if someone who was attractive said the same joke it would be like, it would laugh, you know? So, I don't know. That could also be, you know, the vibe you're giving off though. If you're an awkward person, I'm a little bit of an awkward person, but I feel like awkwardness and unattractiveness paired together is like the worst combination ever. ever. You get the, the worst of both, both categories, you know? People think you're weird because you're ugly. But then it's like, if a cute person was awkward, they would think that they're quirky. <laughs> so, cute people are quirky. Ugly people are awkward and losers and all of that other stuff. And, sorry, uh, the light on my face. There are blinds that I'm filming in front of because my room is kind of a disaster right now, I'm not going to lie. I just set my phone up against the window because I really wanted to talk about this. So, currently I'm having a really bad day. Um, so I actually have body dysmorphia in addition to being conventionally not attractive to most people. And my body dysmorphia sort of takes all of my unattractive flaws and it it just it blows them all out of proportion, you know. Um, believe it or not, you don't have to be attractive to have body dysmorphia. Which a lot of people think that you do, but you don't. No, that's a misconception. Um, ugly people, you know, people who are average, below average, whatever, anyone can have it. You can have it in you know, some people have it more severe than others, um, even really beautiful people, they, um, they can have it really bad where they won't even leave the house, which is where I'm at right now. Um, I might not be 
beautiful or anything, but I am currently having a bad time. And every week or so, this happens where I get into this headspace. I don't want to leave my room. Um, I just recently quit my job because I, I couldn't go into work. I couldn't bear going into work. Um, I've been struggling with losing weight a lot because I just, I don't feel like getting up and I don't feel like eating because what's the point, you know, you, you eat and it does nothing to you except keeps you alive and it's like, some days I don't even want to be alive. So, yeah, and um, lately when it gets really bad, I don't want to look in the mirror. So staring at myself, filming this is, it, it actually helps that I'm um, nearsighted because <laughs> my phone is further away and I can't really see my face very well. And that's another thing, uh, when I get into these um, low points of my body dysmorphia, I, I can't wear my glasses because when I wear my glasses, if I catch myself in a reflection, I spiral. I, and that takes a while to come back from, you know? I'm sorry, I'm getting a little bit sh shaky for no reason. Um, so, pretty much, I guess, right now I'm, I'm sort of having a, a really difficult time and I know that other people understand what I'm going through. It's just, I don't really see a lot of, about um, personal experiences with body dysmorphia. That's not a beautiful woman talking about how she feels so ugly. Not saying that she doesn't have it. I'm just saying there's not a lot of representation for people who are below average or average or ugly saying it, you know. Um, it's mostly really pretty people who are, are constantly you know, they constantly receive affirmation from their friends and family and they're like, you know, my friends and family tell me I'm beautiful but I don't believe it, but it's like the opposite for me. Um, people have told me that I'm ugly my whole life. Um, I've received, you know, nasty comments online and I've received nasty comments in real life my whole life. Um, I've never been chosen for everything. I've never been asked out despite the fact that I, I am gay. I mean, I know that it's unlikely. It's just when you don't receive any attention from, um, you know, the opposite sex, even if you are gay, it, it's kind of like a, a heads up. Hey, maybe I'm not attractive. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe I'm just not getting the memo of, you know, the other girls are getting. Because it, it seemed like from a, a very young age, you know, I was maybe 13 that other people would be going out on dates, um, you know, would be socializing a lot more than I was, and of course I was anxious, but there were other anxious people who were doing that. I didn't realize until I was in high school that maybe it's because I'm just not as pretty as the other people. <laughs> maybe it's that, you know? Um, and being ugly or being below average, I guess, or average, isn't something you notice until other people point out um, your flaws. You're not going to notice that you're ugly until someone tells you you're ugly because what even is being ugly? It's the fact that other people think you're ugly. It's not you, you know? Usually, if, if we all grew up in a, in a an environment where our parents, you know, they they were secure and everything was fine and they, they built you up, it would be different, but then it's like the outside world is where people are telling you that you're ugly and you you don't really know how to combat that. Like I don't I don't know what to do at this point because it just feels like most of the things that have gone wrong in my life have been because of the way that I look or because of how I am because of the way that I look. You see what I'm saying? People who are attractive typically get positive attention um, in that it helps them become more confident. But when you never get positive attention 
or you never get any attention, it doesn't, it, it, it impacts you negatively to where you're very insecure. And so I guess that would be me. I guess I'm very insecure. And I know that there are people who are unattractive, who are very confident and they get their life just as well as anybody else. But it's like, maybe, maybe I'm just not as strong as them, <laughs> you know? So honestly, those are my thoughts for right now. If I have any more thoughts, I might, um, I might film another video if you guys like it and upload it. <sighs> Maybe, I don't know, depending on how I look in this video. I don't know if I'm even going to save it yet. But, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Um, see you next time. Maybe.